Okay, so here we have the Wii mode again, and this time we actually figured out how to use the pointer functionality, and I've wired it up to a little program that emulates a mouse. So, okay, it's in the screen. Uh, I can actually point at the screen, and it'll behave um, as a mouse pretty much. I've mapped the buttons out, and you can use the scroll wheel on all three buttons, and you can click and drag, etc. So right now, I'm just going to zoom a little bit, and uh, get, well, i yeah, show you. We can just draw something here. And um you can see it kinda of smooth this motion out right now. It's um not very fast responding, uh, the way we've done the algorithm right now to make it easier to point. And uh we can use the scroll wheel, just scroll around, we're using the D pad for this. Um middle button and right mouse button are also there. You can just run the menu. Um you can click and hold or click, etc. And um you can also use a virtual keyboard to type stuff up. Oops. Um and um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to test a little game here that is particularly um, interesting for the use for the, with the Wiimote. It's the, the Missile Game 3D. Pretty simple flash game really. And um, I'm just going to play it right now. It's about pretty easy to play using the Wiimote. Um, that's in here. Okay. Double run that. And hold it. Okay. And uh, you can see it. It's pretty easy to use with this. It's. We could pretty much play other games with this. Uh, first person shooters don't work too well right now the way the controls are because the Wii mode is an absolute device it tells you where to point while a mouse is a relative device it tells you how much you've moved um, so we have to implement a little um, algorithm to um, apply acceleration or something like that but um, right now for basic pointing tests and games not just this one it works very well um, the algorithm is not finished so if you tilt the remote it doesn't quite work well and uh, we obviously still doesn't don't have the technology that Nintendo does, but the data's there, so now let's just get the math people to actually um, work out the algorithms. And okay, see you next time with even more stuff.